Hey you, welcome back to Weekly Lick. And this week we are going to be working on some thumping. This lick is going to focus mostly on the movement of your thumb. There's not going to be any uh, use of your index or your middle finger or your ring finger. It's mostly going to be focusing on the movement of your thumb. So here is this week's lick. So before I get into the look itself, let me go over uh, your thumb position and how you should be hitting the string with your thumb. The easiest string to thump on would be the low E. Alright, so, so you want to make sure that your thumb is straight. Alright, and then you want to just hit the string like that. And then you're also going to want to uh, rest on the string below it. Let's do the quarter note of the downward thump. When you want to stroke up, all you gotta do is flick up like that right after you rest on the string. Alright, so you get So you want to hit the string and upstroke it with 50-50% of your skin and your nail. Alright, so let's do a group of threes going down the A major scale. Alright, so it's pretty much the same idea as uh, I just select the picking, so you just hammer on from nowhere, down, up. Now let's say you want to use your index finger and your middle finger. So you're pretty much doing the same thing with your hand position, but you want to make sure that your index finger and your middle finger isn't too far off from your thumb. Otherwise, when you go down and then up, there's going to be too long of a space in between the thumb and then your fingers. So you want to make sure that your index finger and your middle finger is right behind your thumb. If it's too close, you immediately stop the note, but if it's just right, Now here's a couple of cool little ideas that you can mess around with to uh, get your movement of your thumb down. You can mess around with some power chord. So go on uh, B. Uh, and then you're going to try to downstroke thump that. And then upstroke it. Uh, and then after that you're going to go to the perfect fifth. And then you're going to down and then up on that as well. Alright, so let's go over today's lick. Alright, so you're gonna hammer on from nowhere on the 8th fret of the high E. And then hammer on from nowhere on the 10th fret of B. And then you're going to down up, thump down up on the B string. All 
Alright, and then you're gonna move everything up a couple frets. So now you're gonna hammer on from lower on the 10th fret of the high E and then the 12th fret of B. Alright, and then you're gonna move down here, hammer on from lower on the 7th fret of the high E, and then hammer on from lower on the 8th fret of B. And then hammer on from nowhere on the 8th fret of the B and then hammer on to the 10th fret and then hammer on from nowhere on the 8th fret of B and then on G be the 9th fret and then you down up on the G string And then the next part, you're gonna hammer on from nowhere on the seventh fret of G, and then hammer on to the ninth fret. Once you do that three times, you're going to hammer on from nowhere on the seventh fret, and then hammer on from nowhere on the tenth fret of D. And then you're going to do that on the D string. Alright, and then after you go You're going to hammer on from nowhere on the 9th fret on the G And then the 12th fret of G And then Alright, so you get And then you're gonna move up here to the D string, hammer on from nowhere on the 10th fret, and then hammer on to 12th fret on D. And then once you play that three times, you're gonna hammer on from nowhere on the 10th fret of D, and then hammer on from nowhere on to 12th fret of A. And then that is pretty much everything in this week's look. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Uh, the backing track and the tabs will both be available to download in the description box below. And if you don't want to download a backing track, that's totally cool. I will have the backing track playing at the end of this video. So you guys can play over it for the last three minutes of this video. And so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. And if you did, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. And also, subscribe if you're new. I'll see you guys in the next video.